Okay, so here's the solution to number 24, uh, specifically B. And what I've done here is I've drawn the, the, the diagram. This is point O here, and point A and point B. And what they've done in this specific question is they have changed the sign of B to negative, okay? Uh, let me just maybe change color so that you can see uh, what I'm specifically pointing at to determine, like to separate what I've written before. So what we're supposed to do here is we're supposed to find E at this position uh, 0 or O. And we have two charges creating an electric field at point O. So these two charges are charges A and B. And the distances between A and B are equal. They're both L, okay? And so to the point O. And then what we're going to do is we're going to uh, calculate EA and EB, which is KQ over L squared, KQ over L squared. And... Um, X and Y here are going to be separated. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to basically say, listen, this force here, which is EB, is attractive, or this electric field is attractive at point O because it's a negative charge. This uh, electric field going down due to A is repulsive because this is a positive charge. So essentially, oh gosh, this menu keeps popping up. I hate it. Um, essentially, what I'm doing here is I'm going to break up EA and EB into X and Y components. And that's what I've done here. Okay, so EA has no X component, it's completely vertical, so the X is zero. EA has a negative Y component, which is equal to KQ over R squared. Now, uh, it's not, in this case, R is simply L, okay? Uh, I just use R, but it's an L. And then here, um, we have, for EB, we have two components. So, you know, if I draw out EB again, if this is EB, then I need the horizontal and the vertical components. If this is 30 degrees, now how do I know that's 30 degrees? Well, because if I have a triangle where all three sides are equal, L, 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 that means all of these three angles have to add up to 180, right? 180 degrees for all angles of a triangle, the sum. But they're also all equivalent because all this it's an equilateral triangle. So this mean, that means this is 60. And that means because this is a right angle here, that means this has to be 30. So this is 30 here. So now what I do is I say, OK, well, if that's 30, then what's the horizontal and the vertical components? They're both positive, by the way. So this is positive, and this is positive. And so that's why I have a positive there and a positive there. And the uh, x is kq over r squared, or l squared. You know, I can change it to an l here. And um, times cosine 30, right, which is this side. And then the vertical is sine 30. There it is. Now all I have to do is add these x and y components up. So this is a different way other than using cosine law and sine law. Some students really prefer this method because it, um, it's a little bit less spatial and more accounting in terms of completing the solution. So now I'm going to add these up. So obviously 0 plus this is equal to this. Again, this is an L. And then when I add these guys up, okay, so I'm going to take the bottom term first here and then subtract the top term, which is essentially adding them. Of course, I, there's also a common term here, and you'll see I'm going to factor that out. 
Now all I need to do is, now that I have the resultant x and y, all I need to do is use Pythagoras to get the resultant. And that's what I'm doing right here. Okay, So let's kind of scroll up a little bit. And so I've taken the sum of the x's here, squared it. There it is. Okay, Again, that's an L. And I've taken this guy, I factored out the kq over L squared, and it leaves me sine 30 minus 1 squared. So now when I uh, square everything, I get kq over r squared squared on this side, and I also get kq over r squared squared on the other side. So now I can factor this term out of the square root because it's all squared, and then it becomes not squared. But inside the square root, what do I have left? I have cosine 30 squared plus sine 30 minus 1, all squared. Okay. Now, if you work this out with your calculator, you'll find cosine 30 squared plus the square of sine 30 minus 1 squared is actually equal to just simply 1, which is such a nice, beautiful number because now the electric field at point 0 ends up equaling simply kq over r squared, which is beautiful. Um, but this doesn't provide us with the direction. So in order to do the direction, we need to come back here and we need to take a look at the x and the y. Okay, so remember this was actually just uh, kq over l squared times uh, sine 30 minus 1. And so now I'm going to write down the x here and the y here. And then uh, I'm going to simplify the y because I can calculate uh, sine 30 minus 1. Sine 30 is 0.5 minus 1 is negative 0.5. So there you go. This ends up being the y. And this is simplified. Now I can use Sokotoa, right? Tan opposite over. Now remember, just to tell you something here, this y is actually a negative value. The x is a positive value. That means that the x is a positive value. It's going to the right. And the y is a negative value. That means it's going down. So now I kind of have the direction of the resultant. But I don't know the angle yet. So in order to do that, I can go opposite over adjacent divided, right? opposite over adjacent, right? That gives, yeah, that's tan. And if I take the inverse of that, that's going to give me theta. So here is my x, or sorry, here's my y, negative k. And I can actually leave off the negative here. It's not important. So because I already know the direction here, but if you leave it in, that's OK too, because it'll actually show you uh, the angle for theta with the correct sign. But I already know the direction, so I can leave it off doesn't matter. So I can just leave it off here and here. And I'll show you what happens if you put it in too. But just going to give you the same answer. So essentially here, this is y, which is kq over 2r squared. And the x is kq over r squared times cosine 30. And we're going to divide them. Well, the k's cancel out. The q's cancel out, right? The r squareds cancel out. And what's left? Well, this is in the denominator. So we have. 1 over, the 2 is still there, don't forget the 2, times cosine 30. So if you do this and you go inverse tangent, you'll get an, ang an angle of 30 degrees. Now what if you left the negatives in? Well, if you, nef if you left the negative in, you'd get negative 30, which is perfectly fine because negative 30 is here. Okay. If you don't put the negative in, you just get 30, but then you can look at your diagram and go, where is that theta? Oh, yeah, x was positive, y was negative, so it's going to be down, uh, you, know, uh, f you know, like in this direction here. Okay? So now we can simply uh, write out our answer. Our answer is magnitude kq over r squared and direction 30 degrees uh, down from the horizontal going towards the right, like that. And if you want to specify in terms of uh, north, east, south, and west, you could say it's 30 degrees south of east.
Okay. So in any case, uh, that's the full solution to number 24B. And I believe they had the correct answer in uh, the solution, although they don't provide this much detail.